So Gina and I are on our annual two-week vacation in Kushbequack National Park in New Brunswick, Canada, and it's supper time. So tonight we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be using a couple of freeze-dried meal from the company My Honey's Kitchen. We'll be having cheesy chicken, broccoli, and rice, and chicken broccoli. If you're interested in hearing more about these two meals, keep watching. All right, so the quick backstory is I was watching a video a little while ago on the YouTube channel Barnyard Outdoors, and Chris was introducing some meals that he had gotten from a small company by the name of My Honey's Kitchen. And what intrigued me about the meals that Chris was showing were a few of them were on the ketogenic diet. So they were keto or low carb based meals. So being somewhat interested in that, of course, I reached out to the company and spoke with the owner of the company, Ginger, and Ginger agreed to send me a half a dozen, actually, I think it's just five meals that were a mixture of some on the ketogenic diet and some not. So that's what we, Gina and I will be having tonight. Gina's will be a chicken or a cheesy chicken, broccoli and rice. So of course, with rice, not gonna be a keto meal, but mine will be chicken and broccoli. And uh, and what I looked on the back and their replacement or a ginger's replacement for rice in this case will be cauliflower. All right, so what I thought I would do is just give you a little bit more detail about each of these meals. And the preparation of them is so simple. Add water, right? And just let them sit for a while, and then we'll do the taste test. So let me just give you a little bit of a read on each of, of the ingredients on each of these meals. All right, just before I read some of the ingredients in these meals, I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about the company itself. So My Honey's Kitchen is located in Gallatin, Missouri. And as I mentioned, the owner is Ginger, and that's who I spoke to directly. So it is a small family-based business where everything is done in home by basically Ginger, and I think some help from her husband, maybe, uh, Ginger can correct me if I'm wrong there. And uh, yeah, so the whole philosophy behind what Ginger's doing is baking these meals or putting these meals together at home with no, and I mean no, artificial ingredients or preservatives whatsoever. She's using a freeze dryer for the most part to assemble these meals. Now, it's not just the meals that I'm going to be showing you over in this video and in a couple more videos to come, but she does have a large selection, includes freeze dried ice cream sandwiches freeze-dried candy. She has spices and herbs and that type of thing. So I would encourage you, if you have any interest at all, to go over to My Honey's Kitchen. I'll put the link, of course, in the video description and just see the broad, diverse uh, choices that she has there. But again, the philosophy is no added ingredients. And you know that, well, not only does it say it on the package, but you know that when you can actually pronounce everything that's in the ingredient list. For instance, I'm going to do the cheesy chicken and broccoli, cheesy chicken, broccoli and rice. First off, it's listed as a single serving. The package itself is 3.25 ounces and it says no added preservatives, artificial flavors or dyes. That's what you're looking for in a healthy meal. Right? So let me just give you a few of the ingredients and number one is olive oil, chicken, salt, garlic, pepper, ri pepper rice, chicken broth, sharp cheddar cheese, broccoli, onion and My Honey's Kitchen chicken seasoning. So that's from her line of seasonings. I mean, how easy does that get? It's just, just simple, simple ingredients. The instructions, and there are two types of instructions, and it's the same for both of these meals, which will make it easier for pre preparation. You can either do it in the pouch, and I'll explain that, or you can do it in a pot on top of a stove, and we could have done that, but, but for this time, we're making it easier on ourselves, and we're gonna be cooking them in pouch. Method number one, remove the O2 packet, of course, uh, add three quarters of a cup of boiling water and seal the bag tightly. Shake and mix every five minutes for 15 to 20 minutes. And of course you would be checking and add more water if needed. And that's the same instruction for both meals. Now, because I'm on the ketogenic diet, one of the things I'm always interested in are the, uh, what should I say, the uh, well, the macronutrients, so the fats, the protein, and the carbohydrates. Now, remember, this is not the keto meal. This is the one Gina will be eat eating. But there is, first off, a total of 727 calories per serving. So this bag holds 727 calories. Not an overly large meal, but still a good-sized meal. In the course of a day, you would probably you'd need to eat a lot more than this if you were on the trail. But, uh, and I'll just read you the macros. So total fat is 36 grams. 
and work my way down. Total carbohydrates is 37 grams and total proteins is 57 grams. So you can look on the website if you want to get into the micro or the min micro nutrients, I think it is, all the other things that are in there. But okay, so that that is oh, oh this is this is really this is almost funny when you hear about it. The shelf life for these things. So this has a Best Buy ready for this the 12th month of 2048. So I think these have a good long shelf life. That's a projected shelf life and all good conditions, of course. All right, so that's one meal. And the other meal is gonna be mine. And this is the chicken broccoli. I'll give you a look at the label and you can see where it says low carb or keto friendly. Again, a single serving. Again, three and a half ounces. Again, no added preservatives, artificial flavorings or dyes. And again, the ingredients, number one is cauliflower, then broccoli, cream, Monterey Jack cheese, Parmesan cheese, onion, butter, chicken breast, garlic, and My Honey's Kitchen chicken seasoning pepper. And the macros for this, and this is what will make it a ketogenic or low carb uh, version, is to start with 528 calories total in this bag. Uh, not a huge meal again, but it's all about the macros. 27 grams of fat, 16 grams of carbohydrate, but four of those are fiber. That'll give you a net total of 12 grams of carbohydrates and 50 grams of protein. I like that this is weighted towards a higher protein value than regular ketogenic meals because really we should be having even more protein in our diet if we can get it. So it's well within the limits of a ketogenic meal and uh, I'm really looking forward to trying this. All right, all we have to do now is boil some water put it in the bags, go through the steps of stirring and waiting for the 15 or 20 minutes, and then we'll be ready for the taste test. All right, Gina is gonna help me out with this so we can get it done kind of more or less at the same time. So now there is a O2 packet inside. inside there somewhere, yeah. Oh, there's mine. Okay, right on top. Mine didn't open even like. Oh boy, can I ever smell the broccoli in here? <laughs> Do you want some help with that? Sorry. Huh, huh. Oh, I see. That happened. Just when you're on camera, right? Why don't you start with that one then? I think there's a knife lane here I can use. All right, I gotta grab a knife to, well, maybe I can do it with the fork. How about that? The uh, cover didn't get ripped across, so it's still got partially closed here, so we've gotta figure out how to open that up in a hurry. Nothing ever happens in a hurry. All right, let me get a sharper knife. Three quarters of a cup of boiling water. Three, how much? How much? Three quarters of a cup. Three quarters of a cup of boiling water, all right. Now we're good to go. Seal the bag tightly. See if I can do that without breaking it. All right. The other oxygen pack. Should show you that I didn't show you the other package, but there's the ingredients inside this one. Clearly, see which one is this? This is the cheesy chicken, broccoli, and rice. Look at that! Can you smell it? Delicious. It smells good, doesn't oh, it? Yeah. Does it ever, okay. So, do you have a timer? All right, I got to have a timer for this, don't I? All right. Uh, we can start a timer, I'm sure. Start. All right. Timer started. So it's all inside of water. All mixed in? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mixed in well. Yeah. Now the directions say to seal it tightly. And then to shake every five minutes. Every five minutes, yeah. For 15 to 20. That's a little different than some of the freeze-dried meals that I've had in the past. Uh, and it's good that they add that because I've often found from experience using uh, the freeze-dried meals is unless you sh stir them every once in a while while they're sitting there hydrating, sometimes you'll get to the bottom of the bag and find that there was some of it, the material dry in the corners that didn't get wet and incorporated or didn't get enough water to really fully rehydrate. So it's nice that Ginger put that on the directions as well. So now, that's hot, of course, because that was boiling water. 
It's uh, 30 degrees Celsius here in Pukushapakwak, so it's a hot evening. But I have done meals like this before in much colder temperatures, of course, in the winter. And had we were we doing this in the winter, I wouldn't rely on these Mylar bags alone to keep everything hot enough. I, I have uh, Reflectix cozies that I've used, and honestly, honestly, the cheapest and one of the more effective things is a Reflectix lunch bag from the dollar store because it's, it's all pre-made and I just put them in there, close it up, and if it's really cold, I'll put my hat or a toque or a scarf or mitts or something over it to help it out, but not today, that's not gonna be an issue. So what we'll do is we'll follow the instructions and in 15, 20 minutes, we'll come back and we'll get ready for the taste test. Okay, it, we at the 15 minute mark, we opened up the bags, each of us to take a look and Gina's looked a little bit more hydrated and a little bit more liquidy, would you say, I guess? I'm trying to make sure you can hear the microphones down here right now. Saucy. Um, what, what would you say? Saucy. Saucy, yeah, like a little bit more sauce. Mine looked a little bit dry, so added a, about another quarter cup to mine, uh, sealed it back up and shook it up some more and gave it another five minutes. So we're at about 20 minutes as far as uh, how long the meals have been rehydrated here. Now, I just wanted to point, say this as well, um, only because, well, when you make this mistake once, you don't mistake make the same mistake twice, and it's just as well you share the lesson with somebody else. Not this time, but I have done this myself, where I failed to properly seal the bag up here and then shook the bag. With Remember, it has boiling hot water inside, and you can guess what happened, right? So just be sure when you go to mix these up that that... Uh, seal is really closed tightly. All right, let's. Uh. That being said, the package is warm. Oh, it's hot. It is very hot. It's hot to, to feel. Oh, it's very, yeah, it's very hot. Absolutely. All right, let's. Uh. Well, should we pray? Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you for today, for the blessings that we received, for the beauty of this space, and for the chance to be together to share it. Thank you for this food tonight and for the hands that prepared it for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. All right. Mine's a little bit more saucy than it was a minute ago. Let's just see. Oh, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Looks good. Oh, there it is, all of it. Mine looks really good. Actually, mine could have had just maybe a touch more water in it as well. All right, let's see what yours looks like. Oh, yours looks really good, eh? It does, doesn't it? I'm going to show the... See if you can see that. This is really heavy on the broccoli. The cauliflower is cut up very small. I think the idea is that the cauliflower is mimicking the rice that Gina would have in her meal. Yours is very saucy. Mine's quite dry by comparison. I think it could have used a little bit more water yet. Maybe, and maybe it would have been better had you put it in a pot. Oh, use the other method. You're right, yeah, yeah, cooked it in a pot. All right, let's do an initial taste tests. Very good. Very tasty. Oh, is it ever tasty? You're right. Again, I'm going to say I think mine needed, could have used just a touch more water. Uh, so that would have made it a full cup and just a little bit of water. It has but a delicious the chicken, flavor. the chicken in this, the big chunks of chicken. I wonder if I can show that, if that'll show up on yeah, camera. Mine too. Huge chunks of chicken. Mm -hmm. Oh, flavor spot on. Now, one thing it is not is it's not salty. And to the point where I feel like I might even want to add a little bit of salt to it. I didn't even look to see what the salt content is. And, and as you know, most freeze-dried meal from commercial places are extremely high in salt. This rates at, actually it's a fairly high, 419 milligrams. Now I've seen much higher in the thousand range in some of the commercial ones. So 419 milligrams at Ginger's assessment, that's 17 percent of your daily requirement of sodium. So yeah, I'd, I'd put a little bit more salt on this, but I think the idea is that if you leave it a little on the plain side that gives the option to the person eating it to add whatever it is that they want to it presumably absolutely. sorry absolutely yeah yeah presumably something from my honey's kitchen one of ginger's uh, spice get ups oh can i have a taste of yours I'll trade you take a little bit of mine mm. Mm, i can taste the cauliflower in yours yeah yeah mm -hmm. yours just a little creamier than mine mm -hmm. 
My meal Close. looks bigger for some reason, doesn't it? There's, mm. uh, that's the cauliflower in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Delicious. Big chunks of chicken. Okay. Okay, let's wrap this video up. So this is our first uh, of the meals from My Honey's Kitchen prepared by Ginger. And um, what I'll do, of course, is put the links to where you can take another look at this. And I think I already mentioned these are made in the USA, in the state of Missouri. Galatian? Did I say that correctly? Gallatin. Gallatin. My apologies to the residents of Gallatin, Missouri. I mispronounced. Uh, Gina got it right. So that's where these are prepared at Ginger's Home. So I really like supporting a small cottage industry like that. And these meals have it all. There's, these are easily competitive in flavor, taste, and much better in quality than any of the commercial ones that we've tried before. So this is just the first two meals. We do have a couple of other meals, so there'll be another video to follow at least uh, with the other meals that we'll be having. But again, I'll put the links to where you can take another look at the offerings from My Honey's Kitchen in the video description. I want to thank Chris from Barnyard Outdoors for bringing this to my attention. I'll put a link to his channel at the end of this video as well. But until next time, ready for this? Are you ready? Get out and explore and take that path less traveled because... It'll make all the difference. It'll make all the difference. It will. Bye for now. Bye-bye.